Hello everyone, God bless. I'm over here in uh, Carolina Central. The Central Carolina is not in the state of Carolina. It's Puerto Rico. There's a city called Car Carolina or Carolina. Okay, don't confuse it. It's not a lot of people. I told somebody here the other day that, that I was in Vegas. And she says, oh, you went in Vega Alta? Vega Alta or Vega Baja is two towns combined. One is high and one is low, meaning one is in the north and one is in the south. That's why they call it Vega Alta, meaning on the north, and Vega, Vega, Vega Bajo is the one that is located in the south. So what happened, I told a lady that, you know, I uh, I, I came from, from Las Vegas, and she says, Oh my God, you went to Vega Alta. Well, that's where you went to, Be Vega, Vega Alta. And I said, no. Hello. You know, Vegas and Vega Alta are two different pronunciations. Anyway, to make a story short, I said, lady, listen, Vegas is Vegas, Vega Alta is Vega Alta. So I'm not from Vega, I, I, I didn't say Vega Alta, I said Vegas. Anyway, that, this is what it is. Let me share something with you guys. I need to share this. I need to share this very profoundly and I need to really make a statement because it seems to me like a lot of people don't understand the true nature of a man or woman that they reach their 60s and they're retired you know they got a little money they got, they got themselves of a car they got a host, a whole bunch of friends like my cousin, she does. My cousin, she has tons of friends all over the island of Puerto Rico. She could become the governor of Puerto Rico if you, if you can, if you, if you, if you look at it that way. It's very laughable, but it's funny, but it's true. And I love my cousin very much. And you know, I stay with her and I stay with her, her son and stuff like that. And you know, she gave me a room, you know, I pay her, you know. You know, I'm not living there, or I, I'm not there like a freeloader. And, you know, I don't like that because being a freeloader um, is really a very sad situation to be in. And I recommend that if you are a freeloader, I recommend you better get your freaking act together, get yourself a job, do something with your life. Because sooner or later, soon or later, you're gonna get caught with your pants down, you're gonna get caught, you're gonna be exposed, and it's not gonna be a beautiful scene. Meaning that they're gonna put you in your place and it's not gonna it's gonna be very embarrassing and you're not gonna like it. Because it happened to me one time. I used to come to Puerto Rico every every so often, and I used to stay with an aunt, you know, over here in Carolina and Villa Fontana. That's another sector of Carolina. So what happened that she, um, I used to stay there, you know, I used to take money with me, you know, just to stay in, just to stay in Puerto Rico for a week at that time. And, and one time, you know, I came back to New York and uh, somebody placed a, a complaint against me in the family. You know, somebody told me, Eugene, now we, we heard that, that every time you go to Puerto Rico, you know, you stay with our aunt, you know, with our aunt, because those are my brothers and sisters. And they told us that when you go there, that you don't give no money, like you don't put $10. Because she told us that you, you go over there, you eat, you drink, you take a shower, you go out, you go in, and you don't, you don't even give the poor woman not even $10. When I heard that, when I heard that, I was cut to my heart with so much conviction. I was cut to my heart. I, I got so embarrassed. I, I don't know where to put my face. And I said, oh my God, this is crazy. So I started going to my aunt's house because of that, because I felt very, very embarrassed. And I said, you know what? I'm not going back over there. I, this is embarrassing. I don't want to go back over there and cause problems. Anyways, so I, I never went back. You know, I used to go, yep, I used to say hi, and that's it. But I never stayed with her again. 
because I don't want to think all oh, these guys coming now, you know. I mean, I could have given something, but it's just that I, I felt so embarrassed for being a miserable freeloader that I couldn't take it, and I, I hit my face. I said, no, I can't do this. So what I'm saying is, and I'm going to go on to my, I'm going to go on to my second video. Right now, this is the video number one regarding freeloaders and the respect for elderly people in the 60s. Okay, my next video is going to be about how to respect people that are 60 and over, that are retired, that they have an income, they have a car. They want to be tranquil, they want to be happy, they want to go out with their friends, and they don't got time for BS, for nobody, I don't care who it is, son or daughter, uncle, aunt, they don't got time for that BS. So in my second video, I'm going to explain to you the, the pitch, the pitch for, that people f for in regards to that. Okay, but anyways, so you got to be careful when you visit family, especially family in Puerto Rico, if you go to Puerto Rico, if you're in the United States, anywhere you go to Puerto Rico, you're going to spend time with your aunt, you're going to spend time with your uncle, you're going to spend time with your cousins. I recommend very, very highly, uh, make sure you take enough money, and at the end of the week that you're in the house, or the end of two weeks, or whatever have you, I recommend you giving these people some money. Give them like $200, 150 give them something so like that they don't have nothing to say bad about you you you, you understand what i'm saying you, you you get my feeling okay you get my feel right okay that, what, what i'm trying to say is is trying to bring extra cash because people don't want to be burdened they don't want to be taking care of you they don't want to be paying for everything so you know at the same time that you're staying with your family you know, buy some groceries, you know, give them $150 at the end of the week when you stand to, for you to return back to the United States or wherever you come from. And like that, you could, you could assure yourself and you could win their trust and they will respect you next time and they will give you a better service. I'm not saying that, you know, I, I know what you mean. I, I'm not trying to say... It's the only way to, you know, to pick up their brains and, and take them for, for suckers. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying... I'm just saying that... Just be very careful when you go to your family's house. You know, give them something. Do Like I said, do a grocery. Do a grocery of $100, $50. You know, every day, buy something, buy eggs, buy milk, buy bread, buy, you know, like if they got a problem with the light, with the gas, or the internet, say, listen, do you need any money for the internet, you need money for this, just give it to them. I don't care if they say no, just give it to them. Don't, don't, just, just give it to them. Don't, don't fight. Just say, listen, take it. In the name of the Lord, take it. I'm not going to be fighting over here. I'm not going to be um, with this problem, you know, like, you know what I mean? So I recommend... That if you're going to visit family from here to the United States, the United States over here, just, just be careful. Because people talk behind your back. I don't care if they're your most closest family. I don't care if they love you and all that kind of crap. They're still going to say something. Trust me when I tell you. So be very careful. That's what I'm saying.